If you have any body aches, you feel tightness in your muscles, or you lack flexibility, well, what you need is stretching. Do you have any idea what happens to your muscles when you don't stretch them? Well, let me take the hold from here. When you don't stretch your muscle often, it becomes tight, stiff, and small. Its range of motion decreases, and it becomes weak. And when someday you think of doing some workout and putting tension on your muscle, they're more likely to get injured and damaged. So if you're a beginner and want to get started with your stretching journey, this video is for you. Welcome to Help Fruition. In this video, we'll talk about the seven best stretching exercises and the things you should know about them. Take note, you can incorporate these into your daily routine. And good news, it won't take more than five minutes. So what are you waiting for? Prep yourself up and watch this video all the way through so you don't miss your chance to get easy and quick stretching exercises available anywhere, even in your home. Without further ado, let's get the stretching started. Number one, downward dog. It is that famous pose you might have seen often in the advertisements for yoga classes. What if I tell you that this basic pose benefits all the muscles of your body? Can you believe it? Yes! It involves the stretching of your hamstrings and calf muscles. It puts strain on your legs and arms and abdominal muscles too, so you can say it is a whole body stretch. Downward dog stretch goes against all the natural forces on your body and it increases the blood flow towards your brain. This phenomena increases the brain health and can relieve chronic back pain. How to do it? Stand straight and lean down on your hands. Put your hands on the floor and lift your hips upward. Spread your fingers and rotate the shoulder away from your ears. Let your head hang in the air and put all your weight on your hands and toes. Press your hips up and back, reaching your chest against the thigh. Press the heels against the floor to feel the stretch at the back of the leg. Inhale and exhale and come back to your hands and knees. Stay in that pose for 30 to 45 seconds. You can increase the timings as per your stamina. Don't do this if you're in the third trimester of your pregnancy, have a disc slip, or suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. Otherwise, try this pose and you will get addicted to it as it relaxes the whole body in seconds. Believe me! Number two, butterfly groin stretch. This is one of the most common stretches done in the beginner's level stretching exercises. Butterfly groin stretch targets the inner thigh and groin muscles. It is preferred by people who play cord games or have a history of groin injuries. It not only relaxes the muscles after running or some high intensity activity, but also helps you get flexible thigh abductor muscles, which help in achieving the perfect split. This is perfect for pregnant women and those who have long sitting jobs. It can help them relax hip muscles and maintain stability and balance. How to do it? Sit down on the floor and keep your back straight. Bend your knees so that your feet come in front of you. Grab your knees or calves for some support. Place one foot with the other in a way that the sole of the foot touches the sole of the other. For stability, you can hold your feet with your hands and put some pressure with the help of your elbows on your knees. Let your knees touch the ground from the sides. Be in this position for 20 to 30 seconds. Release, but don't bounce or make jerk. You can do this in a very short time, even in the break you get in between two tasks at your office. Number three, lunging hip flexor stretch. If you're fond of swimming, cricket, or soccer, you must have seen players doing this stretch during or after the game. The reason for doing so is to release the tension in the hip muscles and psoas muscles. It helps them with flexibility. How to do it? Stand in a split stance with your back straight. 
kneel on your knee and bend the other knee in front of you at a 90 degree angle. Put your weight on your front knee until you feel strength in your thigh muscles. You can put your hands on your knee for stability and support. Remain in this position for 20 to 30 seconds. Repeat with the other leg. While doing this stretch, make sure your back is straight and you're not letting your hips sag. Keep in mind that postures are of utmost importance for stretching. Any mistake in posture can hurt your muscles. Number four, shoulder stretch. I am sure you're familiar with this type of stretch but you never knew that this easy stretch has so many benefits. This most easily executing stretch involves your medial and posterior deltoid shoulder. If you slept on the wrong side or you have done some strenuous activity that caused stiffness in your shoulder, upper back, or neck, try this stretch. How to do it. Bring your arm right in front of you across your chest. Support your one arm with the other from right above the elbow. Press it a little against your chest. Hold it there for 20 to 30 seconds. Release and repeat it for the other arm. It is preferable to do this after the workout or gaming as it leaves a cooling effect on the muscles. Number 5. Standing Hamstring Stretch A hamstring stretch can be done in many positions. But if you want benefits for lower back and the rear thigh muscles, you should go for a standing hamstring stretch. Hamstrings are three strings of muscles at the back of your thighs, which help in walking, running, and all other daily activities. People who have tight or stressed hamstrings lose the flexibility of the pelvis and are more prone to injury. This stretch will make your lower back and hamstring muscles more flexible. Now, let's see how we would do it. How to do it. Stand on a firm straight surface. Extend one leg out and put one foot out on the heel. The heel must be on the floor while the toes are uplifted towards the ceiling. Bend forward and put some pressure on the knee with the help of your hands. Bend the other knee slightly. Now you can feel the pressure in the rear thigh and lower back. Be in that position for 30 seconds. Release and repeat for the other leg. You can do it by placing your heel on the surface, like a chair or stand as well. Make sure you keep your back straight, otherwise you can hurt yourself. Number six, cat cow. If you're an early bird, and have been to a park near your place, you must have seen at least one yoga enthusiast doing this stretch. Now, it's time to know its benefits. Cat-cow stretch is and good for a lot of reasons. Some of them are building circulation in the spine discs, maintaining posture, and attaining balance. It is also known for its benefits in relieving stress and calming the nerves down since it is linked with breathing movements too. It is moving a spine from a rounded position, flexion, to an arched one, extension. The movements are synchronized with inhalation and exhalation, respectively. How to do it. Be on your hand and knees. Align your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. For cow pose, inhale, move your hips upward and backward. While keeping your shoulders wide and intact, press your chest forward and let your belly sink. Push your navel backward. Look upward without cracking your neck. Hold for some time and then relax. For the cat pose, exhale. Draw your pubic bone forward while rounding your spine upward. Drop your head down and push your navel forward. Be in this position for 30 to 40 seconds and then relax. Make sure you don't bend your elbows while doing it to attain the best posture. Don't put so much stress on your neck that it might cause you injury or a muscle pull. Number seven, child's pose. A child's pose is more about hearing your body out while relaxing it. 
Most people name it Call of the Body, as in this posture you lean down and relax in one position with closed eyes. It is a full body stretch that involves your ankles, back, shoulders, thighs, calves, biceps, and triceps. This is more like a pause for your body from everything and going down into a deep stretch for some seconds. How to do it. Kneel and sit on your feet facing backwards. Keep your buttocks on your feet and lean forward. Lean until your head touches the ground. Keep your arms stretched and straight at the front with the palms facing the ground. Inhale and exhale slowly and keep your body in this position for at least one minute. Now relax and slowly move back to the sitting position. So that wraps up the seven best stretching exercises for beginners like you. Always remember this quote from a physical therapist at Harvard Affiliated Massachusetts General Hospital. A lot of people don't understand that stretching has to happen daily. It should be daily. Happy stretching! I hope you liked the video and got maximum benefits out of it. And I hope you will start a healthy stretch routine from now on. Remember that if your body is working for you continuously, you too must step for a while and work for it. So what stretch and exercise should you try first? Well, let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear about your experience with your stretching journey. Also, feel free to check out our other videos and comment your video suggestions down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified of new posts. Remember to take care of your health and good luck on your fitness journey. See you next time.